Here is a quick review of the Black & Decker 16.2 watt Dustbuster. Let's test it with some cake and crisp crumbs that I've got on my kitchen top. Now let's try it with the nozzle extended. Be careful when pushing the nozzle back though, as I pinched my hand on the plastic lip the first time I did this. I find it's best to tap the nozzle on a hard surface first so that it can then easily slide back. Cleaning the dust buster is very easy and will only take a few minutes. You can also rinse the paper filter in water after it starts to accumulate dirt to avoid loss of suction power. I've tested the runtime from a full battery charge and it's approximately 10 minutes. It takes about 4 hours to fully charge the battery but unfortunately there is no indication when the battery is fully charged. It also comes with a wall bucket with screws and wall plugs so you can conveniently hang your dustbuster against a wall when not in use. A good idea is to mount the wall back near the plug socket for ease of charging. This currently retails at about $50 on Amazon.com and £50 on Amazon.co.uk. Uh, if I was to score it out of 5, I'd probably give it 3 out of 5 as it has decent suction. It's lightweight and portable at about 0.9 kilograms. In fact, it's ideal for those small jobs around your home where you don't want to get your big vacuum cleaner out. It's not so great for cleaning hairs that are stuck to your carpet, like in your car, uh, as the suction is not quite strong enough. Another thing to bear in mind is I found that the nozzle is a bit stiff when pushing it back in, so I just tap it on, on a hard surface to, so that it can be easily uh, pushed back inside. But overall, I think it's a reasonable uh, Dustbuster and I'm sure I'll be using it many times around my home for the, those small jobs and I'll provide a follow-up review to let you know how I get on.